Hey everyone, Mark here with Discover Your Home, and tonight we're going to talk about laundry chutes. Sounds good. What the heck is a laundry chute, okay? Um, here in the Midwest, um, they were very popular in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, probably later, latter part of the 60s. Um, and basically, it was from uh, two-story homes, uh, raised, raised ranches, um, where you had a chute where, <coughs> excuse me, you had a, a, an area where you could drop your stuff from the second floor down to the first floor right into the laundry room or an area adjacent to the, uh, to the laundry room. And um, you don't see those very often. I thought it was kind of a, one of those unique things that, uh, uh, that we, we saw. A lot of times they were you know in a hallway or in a closet and there was either like a little trap door or um, you know, like a little hole in the, hole in the wall, and then you could drop stuff down, and it was just just a simple um, uh, sheet metal, you know, kind of spaced in, you know, conveniently spaced in between the two floors. I don't know who came up with the idea, but I, I thought it was a kind of a novel idea. It was something that uh, you just don't see as often, and it may not be a bad idea, especially with larger homes and stuff. You you, you probably have the area that you could drop the laundry down in a, in a certain area you know it just makes it easier on yourself uh it's one of those things that you can you know you don't have to be picking stuff up it's less touching less transferring in an era of talking about health and safety it's just one of those things where if we could find an area where we could either set up a basket or even a cabinet where it drops into a cabinet in the laundry room that's generally what you would like to do or onto a table or a countertop. Um, I've seen a few uh, newer homes. I've seen a couple that have had that, but not many. Uh, it was really kind of trendy, uh, 70s and 80s, but it's it's a kind of a neat idea. So if you're looking to do something, it's not terribly expensive. You just have to make sure uh, wherever you put it in, it's number one, you can uh, transfer from one floor to another. And second, it's safe for the family so nobody gets, you know, hung up. A, a toddler or a baby crawls down and finds it and, you know, ends up down the from the first floor to the second floor. Uh, it's something that's safe and it can be convenient. Um, I know it might seem like it's, oh, I, I, it's not that big of a deal. It might just be something that if you have maybe a little bit larger family, you got a lot of clothes, and they're, again, going back to health and safety. We're not moving, touching, and, you know, it's just compile, push it down. It's something you see, I would say, comparable to what you'd see in a high-rise for, say, uh, garbage. You know, you got walk out to the hallway, there's a, uh, there's a uh, dispensing area. You put your garbage in the chute, goes down the chute, ends up in, in, a, uh, in a dumpster in, in the uh, basement of, of your building. Similar concept. Um, could be interesting for a point of resale value. Might not be a bad idea, especially if you're talking, uh, say, a larger home with, say, a larger family. Just kind of a fun, unique thing to have. Uh, make sure if if you do convert it, whether it's yourself or you have a handyman come out and do this, it, it's really a kind of a simple thing. Just want to make sure it's lined up and has the ability to go from the first floor to the second floor. So you might have to uh, either A, look at your existing blueprints or just pop open a floor. Say you're remodeling a, a bathroom upstairs or a bedroom upstairs. Um, you'll find that you, you'd, be, you'd be pleasantly surprised on how much space you'd have available to, to make this possible. Uh, it's going to probably want to be a self, self-contained area closed off. You can put a uh, kind of a trap door on the underside where you can pull it down and it opens up and things get backed up to a certain point. That could be good or bad, uh, depending upon uh, your your specific family. Um, or it can there again, like I said, you could drop out onto the counter. You drop. I've seen them where we drop right into the uh, right into the washer, uh, and I've also seen them where they're dropped in the cabinet. Secondly, you may not, it may not be a bad idea also to have like a, if you have a cabinet in your laundry room, if it's big enough to have a cabinet with just an area, if you don't have that, 
uh, just a you know area for a hamper where everything kind of get tossed in so it's not on the floor. Just for uh, convenience, uh, health, safety, little things like that. So just wanted to touch on on something that you can do uniquely to your home uh, that may save you a little time, be a little bit more convenient, and uh, maybe be a little bit more unique of a home that uh, you see in today's marketplace. Uh, I'm Mark. This is Discover Your Home. Thanks again for joining me.